to another one of those videos. Yeah, the videos that you all dread. Uh, if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, I'm doing another uh, uncaught raw footage video where I just keep rambling and rambling and rambling for about 10 to 15 minutes talking about all this new uh, Ninjago information that it, uh, we have been receiving over the past couple days. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you guys do, then of course, please leave a like. If you guys don't enjoy this video, then please leave a dislike. And subscribe if you guys are brand new for uh, more LEGO Ninjago content, which will be pumped out during the course of the next couple of days. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Uh, so, if you guys did not know, over the past couple years, we have been pretty unlucky when it comes to Ninjago leaks. What I'm talking about is, uh, over the past couple years, during the summer, late summer, early uh, fall is where we start getting leaks towards the next Ninjago season, and that did not actually happen, uh, which was quite disappointing. If you guys don't know, we started getting Skybound leaks last year all the way in November, which was kind of disappointing in my opinion, uh, because... LEGO was keeping everything hush-hush, um, and they actually kept all of their secrets very well. Uh, but this year, we're actually quite fortunate because I was able to get my hands on the Season 7 plot for Day of the Departed. I was able to translate that, and of course, unfortunately, LEGO took the video down because uh, it obviously had confidential information, and I could not share it with you guys. So I was pretty stupid. I... Anyway, uh, with that being said, we are pretty lucky this year because we did get that Day of the Departed plot, which I was able to translate, and we also did get some information on the Hands of Time, also known as Season 8, which is going to be the next adventure in the LEGO Ninjago Saga. Now, there was an exclusive event that went down at Legoland, and uh, this person on Twitter, at MC underscore survival underscore man, attended this event, and it was called Ninjago Weekend. And keep in mind, guys, that this event is very exclusive, uh, so not a lot of information could be shared. And uh, yeah, so pretty much what he did was uh, he saw this clip from Season 8, also known as Hands of Time, and he also got to have a private meeting with one of the master model builders. Excuse me. And he showed him some cool stuff from Season 8. Uh, he also showed him a new minifigure model for the new ninja coming in Season 8. And he also showed him a brand new version of the Samurai minifigure model. But he couldn't give away too much information since, of course, this event was exclusive. However, he was shown the Hands of Time sneak peek. And I did think that it would be very wise to share it with you all. And uh, so here is the sneak peek description for the Hands of Time. Uh, Lloyd says to Cole, good to have you back, Cole. Cole says, good to be back in my own skin. And then all of a sudden in the background there is a weird purple swirling thing and a huge explosion occurs and they just get sucked into it. So obviously this is quite interesting, uh, not as interesting as I would hope it to be, but obviously uh, Cole manages to uh, not become a ghost forever in Day of the Departed, which I think we kind of figured because... I mean, when does anything really bad happen to the ninjas in Ninjago? Uh, but yeah, that's, I guess that's kind of a spoiler. We already know how uh, Dave Departed ends, and we didn't even uh, get to see a trailer for it, which is uh, kind of sad in my opinion. But anyway, um, Cole is back in his own skin, and he's pretty happy. And then all of a sudden, they get sucked into this weird purple thing that just appears out of nowhere in the air. And yeah, that's kind of weird in my opinion. Because the only thing I know that kind of resembles that is the Traveler's T. And this T doesn't really make you travel back in time necessarily. It makes you travel to different realms or different places in Ninjago. Uh, so it's very interesting to see how they're going to take this uh, plot and use it uh, in Season 8. The Hands of Time. Now we do know that there are a couple things in uh, The Hands of Time that you guys need to know. And uh, that is The Hands of Time will be dealing with Kai, Nia, and their parents. Most likely the uh, parents' backstory, how they abandoned their children, uh, where are they now, if they're not already deceased. And of course, they're probably going to be showing us a bunch of flashbacks from the Serpentine Wars. And it may be even a couple flashbacks from uh, the times when Kai's father was fighting along with Misako, Wu, and of course Garmadon, fighting off the uh, Samukai, the Skeleton uh, King, and of course his Skulkin army. 
Now, something to note is that the LEGO Ninjago San Diego Comic Con panel uh, footage was actually released today. It was recorded all by LEGO and it was actually uploaded to their channel. So if you guys do want to enjoy some 40 minutes of Ninjago fun, then I do suggest that you guys check out that video. It is on LEGO's official YouTube account and they actually did share a couple uh, exclusive information uh, I guess you can call it. Anyway, uh, there was this question and answer session towards the end of the uh, panel, and there were a lot of interesting questions that were answered, so I just want to get this out to you guys. So, uh, the first thing that happened was uh, one of the uh, lead designers in the Ninjago team he started talking uh, and asking the fans if he should discontinue Ninjago, and he was asking them, should we call it quits? Or should we, of course, keep going? And all the kids were like, you know, yelling, no, you should keep it going, all that stuff. So the LEGO designers are indeed listening to us, and they don't want to end Ninjago. Obviously, because Ninjago had a huge successful reboot. I mean, rebooted wasn't very successful. I know that uh, LEGO has even released sales numbers on rebooted, so obviously we know that. It, they were pretty low compared to the ones before it, but after that with the Tournament of Elements, with the Possession, the numbers started rising again, so LEGO is obviously content with Ninjago. Uh, one thing to note, though, is that there are a bunch of questions asked during this uh, question and answer session, and the uh, people that obviously work on Ninjago started uh, hinting uh, towards the fact that there will be a new element. Now, they didn't uh, necessarily tell us which element it would be, and which uh, season this element would be implemented into. But I do believe that it will be Hands of Time. Why? Because there is, of course, Little Nelson, and he is uh, the brand new ninja and the brand new uh, latest addition to the ninja team. Now, I've received, been receiving a bunch of comments from you guys telling me that Little Nelson is the master of animals, since he, of course, has like that woodchuck uh, whatever that is, like painting or paper drawing on the uh, back of his torso. And I do have to say that I don't believe that that's the case because Master Dareth, or I mean, not Master Dareth, or Sensei Dareth, I guess you could call him, since he owned that Mojo Dojo uh, back in Season 2. But uh, Master Dareth, or Sensei, whatever, Dareth, the brown ninja, okay? <laughs> uh, he is the master of animals since he, of course, made those uh, penguin noises, the dragon noises, the tiger noises, every single animal that you guys can imagine. He had a noise for that, and he obviously tried to act like them. So I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that he is the master of animals, and Little Nelson is going to have a much more important role than Dareth in this season. Now, something to also note is uh, that they did talk about Garmadon possibly returning in Season 7 or Season 8. They ju basically just said that they were listening to us when one of the fans asked if Sensei Garmadon would be returning. And Dan and Kevin Hegman uh, both said that they are listening to us, and that was pretty much it. So, I think it's safe to say that Garmadon will possibly make a return in Season 7 or 8, or any future Ninjago episodes. And I kind of don't like that because it just proves that in Ninjago, nothing stays permanent. And I do think that a lasting effect would be awesome if there was like, you know, Sensei Garmadon, he died uh, at, in the Season 5 uh, Possession Finale. And I feel like there's no uh, consequence for dying, in a sense, because... Uh, they just magically come back to life. That's what happened with Zane. That's what happened with, of course, uh, Pythor. Of, I mean, I absolutely love that they brought back Pythor, to be honest, because he's my favorite villain. But I do feel like it would have had a more lasting effect if Pythor, of course, stayed dead. Um, so that's my little criticism. But uh, they did also hint towards the fact that the newest element would be time. Now, they didn't specifically say that, but we did get a little bit of a hint because they started talking about how it's self-explanatory in the name The Hands of Time and how the time could be a new element in Season uh, 7 or 8. Now, there is something also to note. Uh, on the Dan and Kevin Hagman Twitter accounts, uh, they did start capitalizing the words time, maybe alluding to the fact that time is actually a character that we are going to be introduced to in Ninjago, similarly as we were introduced to Ronin in uh, Season 5. And it does kind of make sense in my opinion. I would like to see, of course, uh, a time master because, of course, it's called the Hands of Time. We should be getting some kind of time travel uh, master in that season. Uh, but overall, guys, I do think that this is going to be a very cool season. Um, 
both season seven and season eight, to be honest. Uh, will I be getting some of the sets? It depends, because I only get LEGO Ninjago sets if I like their builds, or if I, uh, the set is particularly important to the season. And I believe that uh, LEGO Ninjago sets are awesome, and there are just a couple that I think are just outstanding, and those are ones that I most likely purchase. But I'll try to get the Samukai minifigure that is going to be releasing soon. Uh, most likely in the second wave of Dave the Departed, uh, he has apparently going to be having a brand new minifigure model, so that is obviously going to be exciting. But yeah, guys, uh, please stay tuned for uh, more LEGO Ninjago news that will be coming uh, in the next couple of weeks, maybe next couple of months, uh, as we get closer to Dave the Departed. And then after that, we probably will have some clue as to what will be going on in the hands of time. So thank you all so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy this video, then I suggest you leave a like. If you guys did not enjoy this video, then please leave a comment down below. Uh, and of course, just give me some constructive criticism. Tell me what I can do better to improve my videos. And of course, thank you all so much for watching. And uh, leave a like if you guys enjoy and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching. And I love you all. Peace.